this complex is pretty large. It's covering a good chunk of real estate for the plains. Uh, the severe storm threat is likely for about seven and a half million people from, let's say, central Kansas down through Oklahoma, through the uh, northwestern panhandle of Texas. In this region, the lake likelihood of this is later this evening, but more likely overnight through the wee hours of uh, Friday morning. Scattered showers, well, they're going to be developing, especially uh, our, our computer model says that it's in northeastern Nebraska for the time snap at 4 o'clock this evening. Otherwise, Oklahoma City, we showed you a shot there through portions of Wichita. Nothing as of yet, but overnight, Oklahoma City, be on guard. There is a line being picked up by our computer models here just south and west of Oklahoma City through the northern panhandle of Texas, Kansas, in through Missouri. You're under the gun as well as we continue to monitor the situation. And by the uh, morning hours, wow. That cluster really cons uh, consolidates over Arkansas. It looks like it will be possibly severe, but then turning into a heavy rain event by the look of this uh, radar future track as we continue through about 9 o'clock on your Friday. Have your Fox Weather app. Open that notification up. Put your location in. Even if you live in the Northeast, you can do that to remind Grandma if a warning does become evident overnight for your Thursday into Friday morning. Damaging wind threat is likely same area. We overlay the severe threat with the, where the uh, damaging wind threat is, and it's in this exact same area. Seven and a half million people expected to possibly see potential damaging winds in excess of 75 miles an hour. That's hurricane force, straight line wind damage possible in this hatched area for portions of Kansas and Oklahoma. Dodge City, Kansas, specifically speaking for you the next 12 hours. You can see this afternoon uh, temperatures within a few degrees of 80. The humidity will have an uptick. You'll notice that heading outdoors. But the storms, they'll come scattered in nature once the sun does set. And then we're thinking overnight tonight is the real problematic time uh, through the wee hours of the morning for the possibility of severe thunderstorms. As we said, damaging uh, hail and wind gusts are possible with this. And large hail threat, as we said, well, it's in the same area from Nebraska down through northern Oklahoma to portions of northern Texas. And within that area, it's a hatched area. Tennis ball size hail is possible from Broken Bow all the way to Garden City in Kansas. And this is all going to push Amy to the southeast where you're talking about next. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.